Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video it is time for me to share with you another new nail polish of the week color. But first up you want to remove your old manicure, just make sure that your nails are completely clean so you can go in with your base coat. As usual I'm using the 99 natural base coat or the 99 percent i have to say natural base coat by catrice i've been raving about this one for a couple of months now i actually received it at the beginning of this year and i haven't stopped using it since i do want to try and just use some other base coats in upcoming videos just to switch it up a little bit but i really love this one catrice is vegan cruelty free and this specific base coat only has three natural ingredients which are actually pretty nice to the natural nails in my opinion the only thing is i feel like it does make my manicure last really long especially if you cap off the edges like i always do but i don't feel like it really protects my nails from staining especially with darker colors and i also have a little bit of like green staining on my nails from a minty green polish that i wore a couple of weeks ago so yeah it is a really nice base coat but for staining i would just apply another one one. But for this week's color in this nail polish of the week video, I'm going to talk about 92 Nude Not Prude. This one is by Catrice as well. This polish is only 2 dollars so it is below the 3 euro range. It is super affordable and I just love the creamy polishes that Catrice always comes out with. And especially dusty rose colors like this one. You guys know me, especially if you've been following me for a longer period of time, you know that these colors or like these tones of pinks are definitely some of my faves. So yeah, I just couldn't just wait to do a separate nail polish of the week video about it because I have already like mentioned and showed you this color in my four times nude Catrice nail polishes, which are really wearable and just gorgeous, different tones, um, perfect for any skin color, to be honest. Um, but I just really wanted to do an extra separate nail polish of the week video about this one because it's just one of my favorite colors and it is really nicely to just work with and apply. I really love the brush. I love how opaque this nail polish is. It is still a little bit streaky on that first coat, but that is just because I don't want to apply too much polish in each coat just to prevent my uh, waiting time for my nail polish to be dry, just to shorten that a little bit. Um, I would always recommend to just add two thinner layers um, compared to just one thick layer because it just works easier. The polish is more easy to handle and apply that way. And yeah, you just don't have to wait that long for each layer to be completely dry. Of course, you wanna wait for a couple of minutes before you go in with your second layer. That is something that I don't show you in this video because well, I don't think it's that interesting to just leave my camera rolling for like three to five minutes straight without showing you anything. So that's why I always cut that out. So here my polish has dried for about three to five minutes. Um, it sometimes kind of depends on the polish as well, how long I wait before I go in with my second layer. Um, usually glitter polishes and matte finished uh, or finish um, colors tend to dry way faster than just the glossy ones and the super creamy ones but it can depend um, like on the brand how fast the polish actually dries but for Catrice like three to five minutes is totally fine to wait and especially if you work with thin layers you're good to go after just a couple of minutes with your second coat of color or even with your top coat already. But here you can see that the second coat makes this polish completely opaque and just gorgeous. And yeah, I'm just pretty much in love with colors like these. So you will actually never hear me say anything negative about colors like these. Or it should be a polish that is super patchy and just not easy to work with or something. But usually colors like these, especially if they're fully creamy, there isn't any shimmer or glitter in there. They are just a dream to work with. But I do have to mention 
mentioned that the brush that comes with the Catrice Cosmetics nail polish bottles is really nice to work with as well. It is quite a flexible brush, it holds just enough product and it has a nice like rounded edge or tip as well, um, which is really handy when it comes to applying nail polish towards the cuticle area because of course you don't want to put it on top of your cuticles but just press it as tightly towards the cuticle as possible. But yeah, after your nail polish is completely dry, you can go in with your top coat. I'm just using this one again. I've been using it so often. It is the Sleep Proof Top Coat by Catrice. Actually, I've been using this one in my videos also for like since January 2020. I'm pretty much in love with it. It is quite a quick drying top coat, but I like that. It is a nice, like decent substancy. It isn't too thin or watery or too thick either. It's just a nice one. Um, as I mentioned in previous videos as well, I really love my base and top coats by Essence Cosmetics and Catrice Cosmetics. Both brands are completely cruelty free and I do think that they are trying to become completely vegan both as well. They're kind of like sister companies or sister brands which are pretty big in Europe but I know that they are sold in Asia and America as well. I'm not quite sure if it's sold in India or like that region. I'm not quite sure about that because I haven't visited India myself before. I would love to do that though. But you can just check them out online at Instagram or their websites if you want more information. But this was already the entire nail polish of the week video. This one was number 92 by Catrice. It is super gorgeous. It is out since I think it's March or something like that this year. So I'm sure it is already in stores. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe and sound. I love you so much and I hope to see you in one of my next videos.